Most developers use Mac or Windows PCs to create websites and applications, but it's rare that anyone would want to deploy a site to a computer with a desktop operating system on it. Instead, you'd want to use a server operating system like Windows Server, Unix, or Linux. Linux is a popular choice because it's free and open source, but it can be intimidating because it isn't what we're used to and traditionally Linux has a rep for being hard to use. In this deep dive course, we're going to take a look at setting up a Linux server in the cloud capable of hosting a static site using the highly popular web server software called Nginx. That sounds simple, but being a deep dive, we'll do more than just install it. We'll configure it for production complete with SSL certificates. If you have a dynamic website in some language like PHP, C Sharp, Python, or JavaScript, you generally still need to do this step of setting up a static server to handle your static requests. Elements in your site or app like images, CSS, downloadable content, like zip files, are all better served with a traditional static server rather than, for example, relying on Express middleware in JavaScript or a public folder in a Python Flask app. Once you get the static server running, you can find more tutorials on what to do next for your particular project, and I'll list those tutorials, many of which are free, at the end of this course. If you found value in this video, if you learned something new, help me out with a like and subscribe. For more videos on software development and DevOps from a developer's perspective, check us out at maddevskills.com or on Twitter at devskills.